worked with Mike Lee before, but yeah. were there any kind of unique challenges to this particular project? Well, this is the first time I've done one of, because it's the second time he's done a historical film, and that that I hadn't done before. Working, um, investigating someone who actually existed, about whom there was a certain amount written. I mean, not, obviously not as much as uh, the, the Sun, but um, that was what was really different about it. So where do you get your inspiration from that? Is that from the research you do? Well, from or the from research, from reading, but, but uh, what's the same with all Mike's work is that, is that you do create the character um, based on people you know, people you have known, um, their physical attributes, the way they walk, the, just whatever seems appropriate, you know? And you work through with Mike on what the possibilities of... of uh, of, of a, a character like me. And does that kind of work as a trio between yourself, Mike and uh, Tim to get the, the almost the family resemblance working? Well, you think there's a family resemblance, do you? Well, that's, for, that's, that's fortuitous, I think. Or well, maybe that was in the casting. I don't know about that. But yes, it did work mostly with Tim and, uh, and with Dorothy Atkinson, who was a very, very much a presence uh, in the household. Do you think this showing Turner's life like this displays some of the complexities of being a creative person in that it's not all cut and dried, he's not all saint or sinner. He, he's a, a fairly complex character in many ways. Yeah. Um, well, that's what obviously comes through, yes, is, is we've tried to get the, the full, rounded version of a man. That's why I think it's good it's called Mr Turner rather than just Turner. That would have perhaps given the implication that it was a, a, a documentary, that you were going to talk a lot about the work. But Mr Turner makes him sound like someone you'd meet in the street, which he was. It also points out the fact that he was never knighted, which I think he probably expected to have been, but uh, um, circumstances didn't go that way. Well, thank you very much indeed. Great to meet you.